Hello, Hilltop families. It's Pastor Hosanna here, and I just wanted to share something in light of everything that is happening here in our community. It is absolutely devastating and heartbreaking to see actions of mistreatment of people. And as a result, many have broke out in anger, rage, and sadness. And many are wanting to be heard to enforce a change. And I see it. I see how many people across our communities, cities, nation, and world have been treated unfairly based on skin color, religion, appearance, finances, and many more categories that creates misjudgments, which creates hate. In other terms, prejudice. Many may know people, your own family members, or even you that are treated in ways based on certain categories. I believe that before any change can happen in our society, government, workplace, centers, school, social gatherings, events, the biggest way we can change starts from what happens at home. In order to leave a legacy of Christ, we as people have to teach and exemplify what that means to those around us. Parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, sisters, brothers, cousins, neighbors, friends, we all have a responsibility and obligation to show and imitate the character of Christ. The greatest command given by God is love one another as Christ loved us. His unconditional love did not see people of color or social status or appearance. Jesus approached the woman at the well in John 4, despite of her background, her people group, her situation. He embraced her. Jesus approached the blind man. Despite his disability in sight, he embraced him. And Jesus approached a soldier who was in part against him, healed his ear, he embraced him. Jesus always invited people to him despite what background, religion, color, social status was. He embraced all. That is what we need to do, embrace. As a family, I urge and encourage you to have these conversations with your children. Our children are not only younger, little humans, they soak in everything they see. Kids have hearts that are so soft Anything can harden them, and kids are important to the kingdom of God. They are learning to shine their light. Don't be afraid to sit your kids and families down and talk to them about racism. It exists, and it is a sin, but do lead them towards Christ and his unconditional love. Talk to them about inclusion, acceptance, and embracing differences. God's creation is beautiful, and we are all created in his image. God came so that all can be saved. There is no discrimination in all. All means all to God. I pray that you and your families are safe, I pray for a change in our communities, and I pray that our children will love others. I pray for you. God bless you.